What a beautiful morning, Coach 1373 right there. Finishing up audit, getting ready for its delivery. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal here at the Mothership 1373. That's not what we're looking at today. That'll be next Monday. We're headed over to 1317, a new consignment. I told you last week, we got a lot of consignments coming our way. And uh, we got, a, we got a, a 95, we got a 98, we got a marathon owned 98. How about coach 1317? That's what we're gonna look at today. It's an X3 double slide 2021. This is a great coach. If you're looking to get into a late model X, this would be a good option for you. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Oh, I wanna tell you guys one thing before we go any further, John. There's really a cool part of our website. Don't miss this. Go to the website, go to the Marathon website. I'm gonna show you right now. Open up the phone, doodle doo doo doo. All right, there it is right there. See where it says service? Pull down your service tab and then go down. The fourth tab down is how to videos. How to videos on the service tab. So go to the service tab, go to how to videos, which is the fourth one down under service, and you will see some really cool content. Everything from uh, how to operate the coach on the inside all the way to it's something that Dave Bash is working on, our driving videos. Very cool. So I'm going to be reminding you over the coming months to go and check out our website because we've got some really cool content coming to the how-to videos in the service tab of our Marathon Coach website. So that'll be cool. John doing a little dance around me. I can dig it. It's a little dirty on the exterior, but that's just because we're right off Interstate 5. Uh, yeah, Coach 1317 X3 Double Slide. This is a fantastic coach, a 2021, and I love this floor plan. Also, it's got a real beachy feel on the inside. So come on in, let's take a look at 1317. The first thing you're gonna notice when you walk on in is that tool leather door. Take a look at that entryway and door. Very, very cool. And then as John comes in and gets good shots of the cockpit, I will tell you right now, this only has 29,000 miles, you guys. Only 29,000 miles on this 2021. Really good floor plan in here. There's so many things I like about here, this coach in here, but it has kind of that beachy feel to it. It's really great. So let's take a look at a few things. So in an X3, kind of a standard floor plan when it comes to the modern day marathon uh, floor plans for the X3. And this was the first coach that was part of the new X3 or what they call the updated X3 chassis. You've got uh, the, the uh, chair and the occasional table here on the curbside, but of course, as you know, the co-pilot seat swivels around and creates another seating experience in the uh, salon. Jackknifing sofa, always nice to have on your driver's side right behind the driver. Also, you've got a TV right behind John over the cockpit and a secondary TV. As you guys know, this TV comes out, so it pivots around so that people sitting over here can have the TV experience also. Lots of natural light coming through in here. Jackknifing sofa, like I mentioned before, and a good L-shaped dinette with storage behind and below and above. Always nice. And also, as you guys know, it's got the telescoping dinette table, which is something that Marathon does, and also the pivot in or the, the swivel in and out for ease of access in the galley. Uh, storage above and below the countertops. Good size sink. Okay. There you go. You know I like a good Corian sink. Look how it matches perfectly with that countertop. Isn't that nice? This is a 2021, you guys. And as you know, we're just starting our 24s. This is a well-taken-care-of coach. This is a West Coast coach, for those of you who are asking. So this coach has been maintained exclusively at Marathon here in Coburg. All right. As you know, this slides away and puts away to reveal your uh, microwave oven right there. 
also a convection oven. Uh, burner tops here concealed underneath the covers. That's always nice to have. But it really has a good feel to it. I love the floor. Take a look at the floor of this coach. Not only does it have wood running through tile, but it also has those keys that are almost like a bamboo feature that run through each one. Pantry, always important. Sub-Zero refrigerator, freezer on the bottom. Very nice. Now, take a look at this. This is why I say it's kind of got that beachy feel. Isn't that pretty? That's kind of the art niche door. But it's not just that. You can also have that off, art door accent, art door on. Or it's actually the water closet. It's got a vessel sink that's really cool. It's a natural stone vessel sink. And you look at that backsplash, that backsplash goes with the theme of this coach. It's a backlit, cleanable fabric right behind the sink. It's just really cool. You can have that on or off. Just a really nice water closet. On the driver's side, past that water closet, this is a closet. It's just a short closet with two drawers. Large door to close off the bath. Take a look at this, this is the full bath in the coach. You've already seen the half bath. Vessel sink again with that same, but a little bit larger, longer and, and wider backsplash feature. And then it integrates all the way through the shower. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Yeah, it's almost like, um, like an additional curtain, like a shower curtain that you would see um, for a rain curtain, I guess is what they call it. But what a beautiful water closet. I just really wanted to concentrate on showing you that shower and the back the backlit features of it because it's just really cool. And those vessel sinks go really well with that feel for this coach. All right, as we move into the bedroom, as you can see, the bed is articulated all the way up, so it creates all this space in here. But you've got storage all over the place from, from four drawers down here on the driver's side as you walk into the bedroom and that shirt closet right above them. But you also have, as you know, this is a large pull down storage right up here above the bed. Storage above and below the TV on the curbside or the patio side, not just these pull outs here, but you've got some storage here and here on each side of the TV. And just when you think that's done, You've got a full closet in the rear with the washer dryer, of course. Full washer dryer, hanger bar that the dog legs around here, creating about four feet, just a hang, hair over four feet of hanger bar space here. And then, of course, you've got the 10 inch bar on the other side of the washer dryer back here. Audio visual placed over here in the 2021s. That's where we placed the audio visual and a couple of drawers. Uh, actually, three drawers that are down there for socks, undies, or what have you have use. All right, that's really about it. So if you're looking to get into a late model, you guys, this would be a great option for you. Everyone can get a good shot of the floor, the ceiling. It's just a really nice coach. And the bays in here are manifest destiny. So the bays have nothing in them. There's no slide outs. There's no cargo trays. There's no barbecue, no refrigerator, and some people really prefer that when they're buying a pre-owned coach like this um, because they can design their own. Uh, that's really a nice thing uh, to be able to come in and say, okay, I want a slide out here, electric, and then I want a manual slide here, and I want a barbecue and a refrigerator or whatever. So there is nothing in the bays except massive storage. So that's really good um, to be able to create your own scenario when it comes to that. All right, other than that, you guys, that is Coach 1317. Don't forget, like I mentioned, go to the Marathon website, go to the service tab, and go to the fourth option down and check out Marathon's new how-to videos. You got everything. It's, it's mostly a lot of Dave Bash, I think, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a lot of Dave Bash talking about, uh, and some of them are quite short videos, but it's just, you know, the Freedom Plus sewer system to, um, how to get ready to get your coach ready to go on a trip. All right. Other than that, be yourself and do good things. 
John and I and Abigail are going to get out of here for the day. Uh, if you're looking to get into a marathon, M-A-L-W, MALW, at MarathonCoach.com. And also, summer season, don't forget, if you're coming into our service centers, please call. Call Joe Steffenzook in Florida. Call my man Tim Riley down in Texas. Call uh, the heavenly hands of Rob Angelo here at the Mothership or Kurt Nelson. Make an appointment, you guys. We want to get you in. We don't want to delay your trips in or out. So the smartest thing to do is if you are going uh, to be passing by a marathon facility and you think you want to get in for anything small or large, make sure you call first and get an appointment. All right, you guys. Like I said, be yourself and do good things. Take care of each other. And uh, we got a lot of cool coaches coming out consignment-wise, so stay tuned. See you next Monday.